What's up, everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, welcome back. I love and appreciate every single one of you, okay? Now, before I get into this energy, I just want to remind you that this may not resonate with everybody, okay? So only take what fits, leave what doesn't. Don't force this to fit your situation, okay? This could be the past, the present, or the future, and you can switch the roles around as needed, okay? So I really feel um, someone is putting in work on you when it comes to spell work, okay? I really get this energy of somebody who is talking shit on you, okay? And, yeah, I'm getting that... <laughs> this person wanted to... This person was literally doing work, putting work in on you, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of... Uh, Two of pentacles here, okay? That's money. That's all about money. This person was all about money, finances, uh, whatever, whatever you could give to them, okay? Whatever you could provide, whether that's your energy or your finances, okay? This person was literally putting work in on you, juggling you, going back and forth between situations, okay? Working with this karmic third party, all right? But you transmuted it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, uh, they thought that they were going to have you stuck. You know, not able to move forward, okay? It's like they, want, they, they were trying to siphon your energy. Now, I'm getting that this... this third party uh this person talks shit on you okay to your person and i'm i'm getting that this is this is somebody that could do spell work as well okay they dibble dabble in the magic in the in the sorcery okay i don't think they realized though okay they're over there doing their sorcery when you are literally the source, okay? You are one with source. Magic who? This whack karmic? I'm getting that this could have even been a friend, okay? Not only did this karmic... Go behind your back and work with your person. But then they had the nerve to do spell work on you. Talk shit on you behind your back. <laughs> they, could be, they could have been talking about your personality. They could have been talking about you, uh, whatever you do for work, okay? Because you are called, okay? Many are called, few are chosen. You're chosen, okay? This person doesn't know what they're getting themselves into. They have no clue. You definitely removed yourself from that situation, okay? And, and I'm getting like, this is definitely something that was hidden from you, Okay? You you were not aware of this. This is this was a hidden hater, okay? A hidden fucking hater. But now this person is is realizing that your person, the person that they have been um, you know, putting this work in on, okay? This spell work. Because they, they definitely have your person under a love spell as well, okay? They have done some sort of work on, on your person just because they wanted to have what you have. They wanted what was yours. They manipulated this person, okay? Your person, this could be an ex, this is a past person, okay? Past energy. This person still has a lot of feelings for you. They're in, they're in their emotions about you with the Six of Cups here. 
they're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. They are kind of, they're realizing the illusion that was placed over them, okay? Whether that was this karmic talking shit on you to this person, okay? Trying to manipulate the situation to where they see you in a bad light. And, and you know, they are exalting themselves. <laughs> Confident people don't talk about other people, okay? Confident people don't talk shit on other people behind their back. They do it to their faces. I stand up for myself either way, okay? I'm not going to let somebody think that they've had anything over me, okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to talk shit behind someone's back. I will say it right to their face and I will tell them exactly what I think and how I feel about them. I mean, I'm, I'm better than I used to be, okay? And... You know, I'm getting this this warrior energy, this spiritual warrior, okay? this You have the angels backing you up, okay? Because sometimes you... You know, you, you have to become the dragon to defeat a dragon, right? Queen of Pentacles, okay? The magician. Look, the Queen of Pentacles, the magician. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? This lame, this person was doing spell work on you, okay? The magician. This person could have even paid to have spell work done on you. Huh. Hmm, try again. Yeah, no. They're doing their, they're doing their research on you, okay? Because they want to know. So what makes this, this person want the collective so much what is it about the collective that is so intriguing or desirable okay because this karmic wants to be as desired as you are because they're seeing how your person has has Something, something has been broken. Some curse or some spell, some love spell has been broken, okay? You could have prayed for this person. And if you did, it worked, okay? They are no longer under an illusion. They realize where they fucked up. They were working with the karmic, okay? Jealous of you. Jealous of your light. And the, <laughs> this... Karmic. Oh, wow. They were jealous of you. Jealous of the fact that your person, your person, I'm getting that they could have read messages on their phone or they caught your person or your past person talking to you or trying to get a hold of you, okay? Either that or they they heard about it. Let me let me let me pull some more cards on it, okay? But yeah, this this literally this person did spell work on you. On your money as well, okay? They tried to seal your finances down. They didn't they didn't like the fact that you uh we're in your purpose, okay? Yeah, I'm getting that they could have paid somebody. I'm also getting that they want to swap destinies with you, okay? They want to take your job, whatever it is that you do, they want to do that too, okay? They want to be just like you, okay? This is a copycat, okay? If I ever seen one. Yeah, this person is, <laughs> they got another thing coming. All right. They don't know who they're fucking with. They have no idea who you are in the spirit. Okay. They're not chosen. The fuck? You are chosen. You have a divine mission here. I'm even getting that Mother Earth, these nature spirits protect you. 
So whatever spell work they're doing here, okay, this is earth magic. <laughs> it's not going to work. You are too divinely protected, okay? And so is your destiny. And this person, uh, well, obviously they don't realize that, you know, what you do is part of your destiny and you are in your north node. This person can't stop you if they tried, okay? And they tried. They tried to take your person, okay? And then they tried to take your... I'm getting like, this is like a, like a destiny swap. Okay. They, you, they wanted you to juggle your, your job, your work. Okay. While they do spell work on you. Okay. And I'm getting, I'm getting that they could have even used your person as, as like a, as like a, um, like a Trojan horse. Okay. They, they, they put like sexual, like sexually transmitted demons. Okay. With your person, they wanted your person to transfer it to you, okay? But you are highly protected. <laughs> I'm getting you are so protected, though, that they were trying everything they could. So they, <sighs> yeah, they wanted to Trojan horse you with your, with, with your person, yeah, not going to work. Not going to work, honey. Because you cut this person off. <laughs> and I'm getting... If you allow this person back in your energy, you know, that's... It's definitely up to you. It's your decision. But if you do, they would literally have to come towards you. I mean, they would have to put in a lot of work to get you back. All right? But, yeah, they wanted to delay you. They wanted you so heartbroken... And, and blocked, okay? You're, they wanted your emotions blocked, okay? They wanted you heartbroken because this person decided to work with the karmic to fuck you off, okay? But <laughs> you bounce back, okay? You, trans, you transmute energies. You are a master alchemist. You're transmuting this pain into power. And they... Uh, they did not really expect that, okay? They thought that you would be in your feelings forever, okay? They thought that they had you, okay? And this spell work, okay, yeah, they can, they can hardly even spell work, okay, let alone put in real work. You feel me? You are way too strong. Your connection to source is is unbreakable. There is there is a huge calling over your life. This person would not be able to even come close to delivering the 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 power and the they, this person doesn't have the spiritual power that you do. What? They think that you're the no. They don't even put in work. Okay? They could be smart. They can know how to, like, you know, do things. They could be, uh, you know, in touch. But, and they could know about, you know, magic. But uh, this person is whack, okay? Oh, wow. Like, how did this, per this person is heartbroken right now because you got this person blocked, okay? Your person, your past person is heartbroken, okay? They are, they are not... They're not doing well right now, okay? They're realizing that this, this, this queen of pentacles, okay? This, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be, but, you know, this karmic third party. Cast some sort of illusion to make it look like a more promising offer than what they really had, Okay? And they wanted to, <laughs> they really just wanted to hurt you, okay? But you're safe, all right? You cleanse your energy every day. This person don't do that, okay? <laughs> this person is a fool, okay? Yeah. I'm getting that. 
<laughs> they want to come towards you now. I'm getting that this, um, this, this third party found evidence, okay, of this person wanting to come towards you. This person was even, like, heartbroken in front of this karmic, okay? And... The, wow, seven of pentacles in the reverse. This person did not make good investments, okay? Not only are you in your north node, but whoever did this, they have karma to pay, okay? They have a karmic debt they owe you, okay? This destiny swap failed miserably, okay? And when that happens... Their karma is going to be to watch you rise, okay? Their karma is going to be to watch you become the greatest, most successful version of yourself that you have ever been, okay? You were made for this. And you were made to overcome these obstacles, all right? These obstacles only made you stronger. These, the God used these karmics to train you, okay? You think that one little... <sighs> one little heartbreak gonna get you? Is gonna keep you down? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you definitely were underestimated, okay? They underestimated you, yeah. They really thought that they had something, okay? Oh my God, they, they are realizing that they made horrible investments, okay? They chose the wrong one. They went the wrong way. Because this karmic was giving them attention, and you are most likely focused on your, your purpose, okay? This karmic is watching you. They're trying to figure out how it is you do what you do. What is the secret formula, okay? What's the secret Krabby Patty formula? <laughs> okay? And they can't figure it out. Not only that, but they're really, I mean, they, I, I'm just getting like this, this really, they're really not. They try to pretend like they are confident in themselves, but they really know that they ain't shit. Okay. They know, they know that they ain't shit, especially if they're going to attack a, a chosen one. They got another thing coming. You're, you call judgment. You're, you're calling judgment on this. Okay? And I'm getting a, a mix of afraid and heartbroken. Okay? Your person is heartbroken because they chose, they've left this karmic out in the cold. So, hmm. I'm just getting that you're not giving this person another chance. There's not another chance in hell. Because this person was too, too easily manipulated. Too easily swayed to, to, to switch up. Okay? That means that they don't stand for anything. You are God's ambassador. Okay? <laughs> and you are protected by Mother Earth. This karmic third party really thinks that whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing, you, you have some, you're creative. There's something within you that you are here to build. You are here to create. This karmic third party couldn't even come close to doing what you are here to do. And they try to sabotage your mission? Oh, they're getting, they're going to get their karma. 
okay? There is no way God is going to allow this karmic third party <laughs> to take anything from you. You bounce back quick, okay? You did that. And you know what? You are. You're standing in your power. There could be a Leo, okay, here. A Leo in your energy. Um, I am getting that. Yeah. Huh. The chariot, look. Wow. There could be a Taurus involved as well. This Taurus, this Hierophant in the reverse... This is a dark practitioner, okay? This person is going to experience karma, okay? Because the wheel of the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. There is somebody here. You are moving forward with the chariot here. Cancer energy. But you are moving forward. There's no, that you have that you have such a strong will. Strong drive okay you have this drive to succeed that they don't have this is a dark this could even be like a little friend group okay or or family even but this is like this hierophant in reverse this could be a taurus but this person is messing up their debt this person is fucking with their own lives okay they are putting their own lives at risk by doing this to you okay you are that protected this person is putting their lives and the, everybody that they have worked with, they're putting their lives in danger by doing this because of their jealousy, because of their hatred, and because of the fact that yeah, they wanted your person. They want this person. Yeah. They just wanted what you had. Ooh, yeah, this person was not willing to change, okay? This is a king of swords in the reverse. This person is a narcissist, okay? Scorpio energy as well. But I'm getting that this person, and this, with the death in reverse, this person refused to change. This person refused to to. Stop telling lies, okay? This person refused to transform into the emperor, okay? The emperor, the queen of swords, wow. Yeah, this person tried to attack you with this hangman here too. Well, you call judgment, yeah. You are happy. You're you're happily in your own energy, right? You block this person out and put this keep this person on block, you know, until this person until this person you know, moves forward. Okay, they're going to have to come to you. There is look I got the Empress and the Star card here and the Nine of Cups. Shut the front door. Shut up. You literally, you, you, you moved away from this, okay? And you are moving, you are stepping into your Empress energy. You are creative. You are, you probably have your own business, okay? The Star. Yeah, you shine, all right? You are a star seed. There is a wish that you have been asking for there is something that is in your heart that you're about to receive okay your wishes are being fulfilled here yeah with the four of wands here yeah shut the front door the four of wands and the nine of and the nine of cups you're about to you're about to get your dream home you are literally calling in your dream home okay your dream home life all right you're about to come together with your twin flame as well. That's that's beautiful, y'all. Wow. With the Hierophant upright and the Ten of Pentacles, y'all. The Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. You're about to come into union with, with your twin flame here. 
with your with your soulmate, high level soulmate. This is this is somebody you're gonna either create a family with or you know blend families together. Okay, that you are calling this in. Okay, God is <laughs> wow because you are in your purpose. You are in your north node. You are working for God, and God's got some pretty amazing benefits. Okay. And yeah, this person tried to swap destinies with you, but you have the power here. All right. <laughs> this person has to walk away. They have to walk away. Look, they are, they're feeling defeated. Okay. Defeated because they're watching you. They're watching you. You walked away from them and you're healing now. You are healed already. They're like, how, how is this happening? What's going on here? How did, you know, what, what, how is everything like just completely backfiring? You know what? The level that you are at, the spiritual ranking that you hold, they had no idea, okay? They could only see you from their lens, okay? From their point of view. You saw them for their potential, Okay, you saw them from your point of view and you have a you have a very I mean, you got a bird's eye view. Okay, you saw this person as as someone that they could be potential. But this person was giving into their carnal nature. They were giving into their lust. Okay, they they definitely had some addictions here. Okay, and they they loved it. Okay. They definitely did not put God first. Okay. They didn't stand for anything. So they fell for everything. Okay. These people were e able to manipulate this person. So I'm getting that your real twin flame is coming in here. Okay. And they're about to help you create something, a foundation, a firm foundation, a business. Okay. A business that is meant to help people that is meant to change the world is what I'm getting. All right. You are here for such a for such a big purpose. Okay, you have such a big destiny. <laughs> the, these karmic third parties, this this little group of friends, they have no idea what kind of, what can of worms that they just opened, okay? They just opened up Pandora's box by doing this, by coming for you, by talking shit on you, by trying to stop your destiny, by trying to hold you back. But God just used them. God used them to make you go even harder, okay? You have literally transmuted that pain and you are, you're driving it home, okay? You are literally, you're, wow. The power, they have no idea what's about to hit them. And I'm getting that you could have prayed for these people, okay? Prayed that, you know, that God has mercy on them. And he will, he'll have mercy on them. He will make sure that they get to watch you front row tickets, front row seats to your success though, okay? Your success is going to be their karma. <laughs> and they got to watch you as you rise to the top, all right? That's the message that I have for y'all. If it resonated or if it brought any value, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I love y'all. Bye.